Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today in this video, we're going to talk about nine myths surrounding raw feeding for dogs. So hopefully this video will make this lifestyle choice for your dogs seem less scary and more approachable. But before we get started, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and also follow me on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. Before we get started with today's video, I would like to thank the sponsor of this video, and that is NRG. NRG is a dog food company that provides a healthier alternative to kibble while still providing you with the ease of convenience. NRG is dehydrated dog food made with all fresh ingredients that is table grade food from North American farmers and includes free range meats and wild caught salmon. Be sure to check them out at the link down below in the description. Myth number one, raw meat will hurt dogs. Let's be honest, if you live in a country like the United States, our meat is really safe. It's clean, it's fresh, um, there's no issues whatsoever of eating steaks that are going to be rare. Uh, but we're talking about humans there and we're trying to discuss dogs. And dogs evolve from wolves and have a digestive tract that is made for breaking down raw meat. They have a much higher acid level in their stomach and a shorter digestive tract making foods pass through their stomach quicker than ours. Their digestive system is much different than that of a human. Raw meat's actually a lot healthier for them and it is safe. And if you're still worried about something like that, there is actually ways of preventing parasites and things like that from being in the meat that you're feeding your dogs and that is by freezing certain meats for certain amounts of time. This actually kills off parasites and other types of bacteria. And let's be honest, kibble gets recalled way more often than human grade food. Myth number two, you cannot keep raw meat from spoiling. <laughs> now this probably seems like a weird one, but I'm surprised at how often I'm told this on YouTube. And I'm like, if you're using an electronic device to access the internet to be commenting this on YouTube, how is it that you've never heard of a refrigerator? I wonder if people like that just don't cook for themselves ever. <laughs> Jaime did point out though to me that people might think that you just take a pile of raw ground beef and leave it in your dog's bowl for hours at a time and no, no, that it's not like kibble, so no, you don't just leave food out for them all the time. They have to be on a feeding schedule when you're doing raw diets. And so you want to feed them at certain times of the day and then pick up food that they don't eat and stuff like that, which is actually healthier. It's actually not really good to just leave food out all the time. Uh, that makes for a fat dog, invites ants, stuff like that into your house. Um, and also, um, even though it's kibble, I think a lot of people don't realize that kibble does have an expiration. Um, it's something like once you open a bag of kibble, it's good for two weeks. Uh, having to, you know, make sure that it stays sealed. Uh, it's not just meant to be out. Um, I think that's a really big misconception with feeding kibble, actually. Myth number three, there's only one correct way to do a raw diet. Absolutely not. Like almost everything else in life, there are a lot of good and different ways to go about feeding your dog raw. Not just one thing is going to work for all dogs. Some dogs have grain intolerances. Some dogs need grain to maintain weight. The type of food you feed also depends on what's available to you. Uh, the most important thing is to determine which diet works best for you and your dog and your lifestyle. Really, the worst way you can mess up your dog's diet is by feeding him vegan. <laughs> so as long as you're staying away from that, uh, just try to do research and make sure you're feeding him right. But it's not as terrifying as people make it out to be, especially, especially the critics. Myth number four, grains are fillers. Grains are actually not harmful to dogs. The issue is, is when grains are used as a protein source. So dogs need a diet that is high in protein, but that protein has to come from animal meats. The foundation of the diet should be meats and not grains. Now, kibble companies usually use grains as the foundation to the meal and then adding stuff from there. So kibble diets are lacking in the correct nutrition for dogs, but that's not to say that grains do not provide benefits to the diet. Grains provide carbohydrates and important energies, and they also help pets maintain weight easier. Some dogs do have grain intolerances, but I 
recommend actually getting a test done before deciding that you're going to eliminate all grains from your dog's diet. If your dog is having allergy issues, it does not necessarily mean that he is allergic to all types of grains. So the best thing to do is to actually get an allergy uh, test done on your dog. It's actually a food intolerance test. And the links for that will be down below in the description so that you can learn more about how that works and actually find out what's making your dog sick because just taking grains out of his diet without actually knowing that that's the cause is not going to fix anything. And two, it's really, really important to get an actual test done then go off the word of somebody than to just go off of what your vet has said. The best thing is to actually have the test done. Myth number five, you must provide bone and organ meat at every meal. No, it's simply not true. You can provide a multivitamin or supplement to your pet's food to make sure they're getting everything that they need. You can alternate between this and organ meats. If you feed all of this together every day, you can actually harm your dog. I know some people want to get it into your head that liver needs to be fed all the time. Just like with humans, you can overdo it and make your pet sick. Alternate between supplements and heavily packed organ meats so that you do not overwhelm your dog's organs. And the same goes for bones. Bones are a good part of a raw diet, but it is a myth that if you do not feed bone, your dog will have loose stools. That's simply not true. You can have a dog that doesn't have any bone in their meal and has actually very hard poop. Um, stuff like that uh, depends a lot on the individual dog. Myth number six, you cannot feed raw and kibble. No, that's that's not true. It's not ideal, um, but it's, it's sometimes gonna be the best that a person can do. And people get into this community, this raw diet feeding, and take it so religiously that they feel that they have to shame everybody else if their dog's meals don't look the same as as what they're doing. We're all trying to do what's best for our pet and also within our means. So if that means that you cannot feed raw all the time and you need to include kibble, that's okay. Just try your best and like I said, unless you're trying to feed your dog vegan, everything's gonna be okay. Myth number seven, you must feed your dog whole prey. No, just no. This is where the fanatics of raw feeding for dogs uh, people come in where it's like, I feed my dog whole rabbit with the fur and everything and I feed him chicken with the head still attached and a whole cow's head. <laughs> no, uh, that's it's not necessary. Let's be honest, most of us don't even have access to all of that. So basic stuff like uh, organ meats, muscle meats, uh, leg bones, that's perfectly fine stuff to be providing for your dog. You, do not need to have your dog's food staring at you. Myth number eight, raw food is more expensive than kibble. Not always. Um, I would argue actually that a lot of times feeding raw can be cheaper than a lot of these really expensive kibble companies. And of course it also depends on the cost of living wherever you're at. There are a lot of ways to cut down on the cost when going into it. So uh, using coupons, uh, stocking up on meats when they're in sa on sale and um, putting them in your freezer. Uh, but just be open-minded when going into it and don't expect it to be super expensive because it not always is. Myth number nine, if my dog eats raw, my entire family will get sick. No, this actually isn't true. Some people are very worried about germs being passed from the dog's mouth to them and their family members. I find this kind of surprising because I wonder how someone this worried about germs ended up with a dog in the first place. Dogs put way worse things in their mouth than raw food. They will lick the toilet bowl, eat cat litter, chew on anything dead they find outside, and maybe you work at keeping all of these things away from your dog, but they still lick the floor and they still clean their butthole. But back to the point, your dog is not going to make you sick by licking you. Now if you aren't ready to go on broad, there are better alternatives to kibble, such as NRG's dehydrated dog food. Maybe you can't afford raw or maybe you don't have the time to prepare the meals while also making sure you provide a balanced diet. The great news is, is that you can still provide your pets with a much better option than kibble. NRG's dehydrated dog food is like feeding your pets real food. The ingredients are amazing, all fresh meats and vegetables from North American farmers, grass fed as well as wild caught salmon. You add water to your dog's meal to make it very fresh and appetizing and after a few minutes it looks and smells like freshly prepared raw food. 
It's simple, easy, and convenient, just like kibble, but it's actually good for your dog. Be sure to click the link down below to order your dog food from NRG. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it, and I will see you guys again next time.